What's up everybody, this is Atomic J uh, coming to you with the first of our retail run videos. So what we're going to do today is review some uh, different card products that you can buy at retail stores. Uh, the products you see in front of you were all purchased at Target. So we have the uh, new Star Wars Journey to the Force Awakens cards. We've got Topps High Number booster box here. And we have a Dice Masters War of Light pack. And a Dice Masters Age of Ultron. So we'll get into these and uh, kind of review the products and see what we get. So I'm going to start off with the Dice Masters since they're up front. Uh, if for anybody watching the video, if you don't know, Dice Masters is a collectible card game. It's actually a collectible card and dice game. Let's see if we can get it in focus there. So it's been out for a few years already. Uh, this happens to be the Age of Ultron set, which is the newest Marvel set. It's pretty nice packaging. Shows you images of the cards you can get, a lot of the dice that are available. Each pack comes with two dice and two cards, and they retail for around a dollar a piece. So they're pretty reasonable. They've got nice artwork on the cards. Uh, the dice, even if you get the same card, you could collect the dice because the more dice you have in the game, the better your odds of winning are. I believe there's four collectible levels of cards. There's the common, the uncommon, rare, and I believe it's super rare. So let's see which ones we got. So you can see it comes with two dice. It's kind of a filler advertisement to advertise um, the tournaments that you can enter. Most local comic shops or gaming stores will hold tournaments and then you can win uh, special cards that only the retailers have. So we got a uh, Beast, Dr. Hank McCoy. So you can see there's no color right here so that's a common card. And then it says when Beast attacks he gets plus one defense until end of the turn. Here's the dice that matches the card. You can see the cards show you every face of the dice that he comes with. And the better cards you get, you'll get sometimes you'll get special dice that have um, different abilities here on the bottom. So once you get to the uncommon, I mean once you get to the common or the rare, there's going to be different abilities and it'll have a different name. It'll still be Beast, but it'll have a different uh, sub name there. So. And then we have a Loki's Scepter. So it says, place this die into your field zone. You may move it to your use pile to knock out an enemy character that would do combat damage to you and prevent the damage from that character dice. Send this die to the use pile at the end of your opponent's turn. And you can see it has some stars here. And those are special abilities. So if you roll one that has the special ability stars there, you can use that ability. It says, return this die to the prep area if your Loki is active. Now, the yellow color here indicates, I believe, that this is a rare card. I believe it's no color, green for uncommon, yellow for rare, and I believe it's red for super, the super rares. I'll have to double check that, but um, it's a pretty nice card to pull out of here. So you can see the dice that matches up there. So that's it for the Age of Ultron Dice Masters. So let's check out the um, War of Light Dice Masters pack. You can see it's pretty similar. Kind of shows you the dice there. On the back it shows you some examples of the cards. Um, this one 
it looks like it doesn't tell you how many dice or cards you get, but I believe it's the same. Just see how this one shows you on the front. I believe this one's exactly the same. What's cool about this game is you can take, I know there's like Yu-Gi-Oh versions of this. You can take the DC, you can take the Marvel, you can mix and match and play tournaments with um, with all the different cards. They, sh they should all be compatible with each other. So we have our two dice here. The filler card. So the first one is Mogo, the Living Planet. It says when fielded, move all Green Lantern and it looks like Yellow Lantern dice from your used pile to your prep area. And that is a common card. And here's the dice that matches it. And then we have a Larfleeze Mine. When fielded, you may knock out a... I'm not sure what that symbol is yet. I haven't played the DC version. Or action and send it to the used pile. So I believe the yellow indicates it's a rare. And there's the dice that matches that. So that's pretty good. If the yellow is rare, which I believe it is, pulling two rares, that's uh, pretty good. So that's the Dice Masters sets. So like I said, you can get those at Target, comic shops. We carry them at Atomic Toys. Uh, I don't believe they're, we don't have them online yet. But you can buy the single packs there that come with two cards and two dice for about a dollar retail. Alright, so let's uh, jump into these Star Wars. So if you go to Target, you'll see there's about, I think, four different ways you can purchase these Star Wars cards. Um, a lot of them are the same price for around the same amount of cards, maybe one or two card difference. You can buy single packs, you can buy um, the hanger packs. You can buy these hangers that have three singles in them. You can buy booster boxes. There's all different ways to purchase them. I like these. I think you get the most cards out of these for the same price. You get 18 for $4.99. So we'll check these ones out. It's a nice packaging. It tells you the odds on the back. It's got the retro star border there. And it's pretty clear if you knew nothing about cards and you just like Star Wars that you're going to get something that has the original trilogy and there's also the new series available in here, which is nice. They make it very clear. So, so it comes with three packs. I know there's different levels. Each color indicates a different level of rarity. I've found some that were numbered the same, but were actually different pictures, and I believe those are the more, the more rare. So we've got Poe Dameron's Excitement, number 94. You can see we have the black border, number 94. Uh, when Stormtroopers Attack. These are the classic captions cards. It says there's eight of them. We have the Power of the First Order subset, TIE Fighter. And there are also eight of those available. The TIE Fighter is number seven, you can see here. We have a Stormtrooper sticker card, which is cool. You can see it says there's 18 of those available, the Stormtrooper being number 16. And card number 49, Luke's new friend. I believe these are called like Jedi Green. That's a, the name of that border. Card number 63, Mighty Jabba. So I haven't seen many purple borders. I wonder what the rarity of those are. So that's lightsaber purple. Those are one out of every 12 packs. Luke's recovery. 
sighting the Death Star. It's a nice artwork there. Of the, that's the classic caption subset. I believe you get one of those a pack. So that's cool. I haven't seen one of these before. And I bought a few of these packs. Um, so that's a cloth sticker card. So there's nine of those. This is number two. And that is of Ray. So cloth sticker rarity is one out of every nine. So Heroes of the Resistance subset. The Resistance. You can see Chewie, BB-88. Uh, looks like Ray And Finn on there. And there's none of those available. And we have the Imperial At-At. And that is the... I believe that's a lightsaber neon, and those are one for, per every six pack. So not too bad so far. Got a card that, that I've never seen before in the cloth, so. So we have uh, pack three out of the three pack hanger set. There's the uh, number 45, Rebels Are Found. Number 66, Rancor Feast. We have another sighting the Death Star. Cool, so we got one of the foil cards. Let's see, that is... Hmm. I'm not seeing the odds on that one. That's a nice looking card. Shows the First Order Stormtroopers on there. Foil card. You can see there's nine. That's number six. We got another sticker card, Yoda. So we got two sticker cards in that. And that's number 18 out of 18. And then we have a Droids on the Run, number 23. So not too bad for the first hanger. That was that's a 4.99. Uh, hanger box. We got two sticker cards. We got the Yoda. We got the uh, First Order foil. We got the cloth sticker card and the uh, lightsaber purple. So about four of the rarer Another sticker card for the more rare cards that you can get in a base set. So that's pretty cool. So let's check out pack number two. So we got number 54, Yoda's Great Power. You can see there, these are all stills from the movies in case you haven't noticed yet. But So we got another of the lightsaber purple. Those are 1 of 12, Spirits of the Past. The Young Star Warrior from the Classic Captions. That's card number 3 of Classic Captions. We got another foil card, Ray. That's some really nice artwork there. Shows her on her speeder. That's number one out of the Force Awakens foil cards. Heroes of the Resistance, Chewbacca. Number five out of nine. And we have the sor a sorrowful, a sorrowful goodbye card number three. On the back. I haven't shown you guys this yet, but on the back they do a summary of the scene. Um, I believe on a few of the Force Awakened ones, it's like a puzzle piece. So I'll see if uh, we pull one of those. I'll show you guys that. Card number 23, Droids on the Run. Card number 44, Luke's Recovery. That's another color that I haven't seen, so let's check out that. But 
Okay, so that could be another maybe lightsaber neon. One out of six. Um, so the different, according to the back of the package, there's base cards, regular base cards, and there's the parallels, which are Black Star Field is one of two, Death Star Silver, which is one of four, Lightsaber Neon, one of six, Lightsaber Purple, one of twelve. So I've seen a green, I've seen blue, which I'm guessing is the uh, base. So, I don't know. I don't know what this uh, neon pink one is. Has a summary on the back. Let's we'll check that out. We have another uh, caption. It's the Dark Lord of the Sith. It's showing Vader there. It's a really nice picture. Very clear. See all the detail in the costume. It's classic captions. That's number five out of eight. So we have another foil card, Kylo Ren, which I don't have one of these yet. So that's cool. You have his kind of a silhouette there, detailed silhouette with him with his lightsaber. And you can see the First Order Stormtroopers in the background. So that's number five out of nine for the Force Awakens foil cards. That's a nice one. We got another sticker card. An R2-D2 sticker card. And that is number 12 out of 18. And card number 31, A Great Disturbance. So this is the color that I would think would be Neon Starfield, but I'll have to double check on that. So the last pack out of the uh, Retail Hanger packs. So we have a card number 46. Imperial at at. Here we go. Another neon card, number 39, Assault on the Death Star. It's a regular back. Classic captions, the Millennium Falcon. That's number one of eight. Power of the First Order, Kylo Ren Shuttle. It's number six of eight. Got another sticker card. There we go. We got a BB-88. Or, I'm sorry, BB-8. I thought it was 88. I guess I'm wrong when I said that. BB-8. So that's number nine out of 18. The sticker cards. And the last card, card number six. Assassination failed. Showing Anakin... Uh, defending Padme. Let me give you the summary on the back. So overall, I'm happy with the uh, card that I pulled out of here. I think these Star Wars cards are really nice. Um, it's good for classic collectors, uh, for kids who are really excited about, you know, Force Awakens. So they could learn a little bit of the history of Star Wars with the summary on the back. You know, they get sticker cards, which are fun. They feature original artwork cards that show you some of the new um, the new uh, ships and stuff from Force Awakens, which is nice. And then you get classic cards. These foil cards are very nice. I'm really liking that Kylo Ren. So I think the... We'll have to see. Let me look for... If you get a Force Awaken, Force Awakens base card, I think those have the puzzle pieces on the back. So let me see if we have any of those. I think we pulled a couple. The Force Awaken base cards are not easy to get. So we got two out of the two hanger packs. We got two, and those were in the same the same pack. So and you can see on the back they have a puzzle piece here. So it's the same picture. For both cards, even though they're different borders, you get the same uh, puzzle piece. Looks like a First Order Flame Trooper on the back there. So I imagine it's going to be pretty hard to build the complete picture from the puzzle, considering how hard it is to find the Force Awakens uh, base card set. So that is your Journey to the Force Awakens Star Wars Retail Packs. You can 
pick those up at Target, or that's where I got them. I imagine you can get them at Walmart and stuff too. So, all right, last but not least, we have the Topps Heritage High Number uh, Booster Box. It's got a nice slime green logo. So if you don't know, um, Topps late in the year releases the high number set of Heritage. Uh, at the beginning of the year, they had the low number or regular set. So you get seven plaque packs plus one extra. These are $19.99 at Target. No guarantee of an autograph. So let's take a look. So you get nine cards in a pack. You can see the packs are pretty thick. So the card stock is a, is a good, uh, nice thick card stock. So first we pulled a rookie card, Micah Johnson. Another rookie, Robles. We got a... Um, Parallel card, or I guess you would call this more of like an insert. Uh, now and then, Mike Trout goes 100 for 100, April 17, 2015. Gives you a description of the game there. Got a Cooney rookie card. Herrera rookie. And a Tolson rookie. Cahill, Nesbitt rookie card, Lorenzen rookie card, I don't know how you say his last name, Vendite rookie card, I probably butchered that. Rodriguez rookie, Nicolino rookie card, Matt's rookie. So we have a rookie performers, Yasmani Tomas for the Diamondbacks. It's a nice looking card. Romo. Got a Velasquez rookie card. A Reds Partners card, 2015. So it's the Reds mascots. I don't know if somebody will like that card. Osuna rookie. Rua rookie card. We have an award winners, Cleveland Indians, Corey Kluber, twenty fourteen AL Cy Young Award winner.
There we go. Carlos Correa rookie card. That's a nice one. All right. We have a Roberto Asuna refractor. I'm not sure what they call those. Foil or refractor. That's number 563 out of 999. It's a nice looking card. Christian Walker rookie, another nice rookie card. Lindgren rookie card. There we go, Chris Bryant rookie card. Very cool, it's a nice picture of him. <clears throat> As a stat here, Chris hit says Chris hit a home run every 11.4 at bats in 2014. Williams rookie card, Jungman rookie card, and Maven is the last card. So that is your Tops Heritage High Number Series. So I really like Heritage. I don't know if I'm gonna buy a whole box to do breaks with or anything i don't know what the interest would be in that but i'm happy with the cards that i got i got some nice rookie cards got a chris bryant got a foil card in there so not bad probably the only set i'll buy but that's your heritage high number 2015 that's out of the booster box from target i don't know if Walmart has boxes maybe with a different pack or sometimes they do like a different parallel, different colored uh, foil or something like that. So these ones are from Target, $19.99. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope to do more of these in the future. Uh, we will get back to breaking cards, um, hopefully within the next month or so. I know I have a couple baseball sets coming in and then maybe do some more football. So thanks for watching. Uh, check out the eBay it's JREC 36. I've got single cards up there, some really nice football stuff and baseball. I'm going to keep adding more and more every week. So keep your eye on that. Follow uh, me as a seller on eBay. All right. Thanks again.